Welcome to Kentucky State University's College of Agriculture, Food Science, and Sustainable Systems. Where you can learn from our five divisions and obtain a bachelor's degree in agriculture, food, and environmental studies. Aquaponics is a food production system that combines conventional aquaculture, raising aquatic animals such as snails, fish, crayfish, or prawns in tanks. Aquaponics combines fish production in tanks with hydroponics of vegetables. By using the hydroponic vegetable to clean the water, that water is then reused to produce the fish in a balanced, integrated system. Reservoir ranching of paddlefish and other fish is a sustainable, extensive aquaculture operation requiring little management, potentially enhancing rural communities and their economies. Today we're using these facilities to raise fish for aquaculture for food fish purposes. At the Kentucky State University Research Farm, sweet sorghum is a crop plant that can be used as livestock feed. The cane is pressed for the juice. The leftover pressed plant, called bagasses, is dried, then pelletized for the use in heat and energy production. We squeeze the sugary juice out of sweet sorghum to make syrup or ethanol. And what's left over, we turn into pellets to fuel this gasifier and make electricity. Kentucky State University has served as the National Colonial Germoplast Repository for pawpaw species. The KSU Horticulture Program released its first pawpaw variety, the KSU Atwood, in 2010. Kentucky State University has the only full-time pawpaw research program in the world. Through our breeding efforts, we've released KSU Atwood, the first high-quality, high-yielding pawpaw variety in the world. American beekeepers need an inexpensive and simple method to check their bees for the presence of a fungal pathogen. Here at Kentucky State University, we study a honeybee disease called Nosema serrani that affects the health and the vitality of honeybee colonies. Environmental pollution by pesticides is a national issue. The degree of groundwater contamination depends on how far is the saturated water layer from soil surface. At KSU College of Agriculture, we have developed biofilters from low-cost adsorbents. Our research programs support our outreach education conducted through these facilities. The Third Thursdays thing provide monthly hands-on training to extension agents and paraprofessionals. Our research programs addresses the needs of our communities and stakeholders with the support of our partners. Recently, we formally established a joint alliance in sustainable farming with Alltech. 